know what? I'm kind of digging the cherry positivity. Now, if we could have that all the time, that'd be great. Hi, friends. My eyelashes are popping off, but you know what? That's actually not okay. And I hate that I'm only now noticing it now that I'm live and I don't have my eyelash glue with me. But maybe I'll cry it off so it aligns better with the narrative. Oh, this sucks. But hi, friends. How is everybody doing? I take it that Elise doesn't like my, my sexy dancing in Ulda. <laughs> oh, I'm having a day. So did I, did I tell y'all yesterday that I went to the dentist? Did I update y'all on my teeth? My gum situation? I don't remember. I don't remember if I did or not. The pain doctor, yes, the pain doctor. So they have me on antibiotics. And because I can't swallow liquid pills, like liquid capsules, they gave me like just the liquid medicine. It tastes delicious. It's just that, it's that like, that uh, amoxicillin or whatever, the nice like cherry, strawberry, yummy goodness, bubblegum yumminess. Um, but the side effects are giving me whiplash and I also have to use like the Paradex, I believe it's called mouthwash. So I, I'm in misery, basically. Um, all day I've been exhausted, nauseous, and just kind of a disaster. Um, did anyone else also notice that these lights are kind? They kind of look like butt plugs. Do, do you see that? They kind of look like butt plugs. Anyway, yeah. Paradox mouthwash is what I imagine drinking bleach tastes like. Yeah, it's really terrible. What I hate the most is like the aftertaste because it just feels like there's blood lingering in my mouth. I have to take my next dose of medicine. Let me see. At 1 a.m. So I'm staying up with y'all. Yeah, it lingers literally forever. I fucking hate it. But I mean, I gotta do what I gotta do. My teeth here are okay, but my teeth in the back, like the molars, are still giving me problems. So we're hoping that this helps. Um, my arthritis is probably the cause for my tooth decay, which is really sad. So not really, not really stoked about that. But in other news, I will be right back. I'm gonna fix my eyelash, all right? Y'all can watch me dance like the sexy little chocobo I am. And then we will dive immediately into more uh, Shatterbringers content. I'll be right back. Hello, Jar Jar. Okay, Abdullah, you're kind of spamming chat now. Stop it. It was cute at first, but um, now you're just spamming. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Okay. Yeah, copy pastas should literally just be one paragraph. 
I don't want to read a block of text. I appreciate it, but... No, thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, today we're going to be diving back into Shadowbringers as always. I think I want to do more MSQ. I really want to finish up some of the Eden quest line as well. Probably won't be able to do that today. Maybe tomorrow. We don't really have too much time. I think I'm only going to be live for like three hours. Um, I mean, I'm sure we can finish it up. I don't know, chat. What do you want? Do you want more MSQ? How far did you get in Eden? Well, we have Gaia now. So we brought Gaia to Eden. Um, so I'm assuming I have to unlock the next four quests and then we're done, maybe? Like, unlock the next four, um, raids or whatever. I love Samosa, Samosa Puppy. I love me some Samosas. Stingray, thank you for lurking. You have baby carrots and vegan ranch? Ooh, yum. Okay, this is the first time that I'm putting on my cat ears in front of my headset. This is different. You did four of twelve as twelve as I recall. Aren't the last twelve or aren't the aren't the last eight or last four like locked or something like that? I beat the Mario Kart Titan? I did. The fucking the Transformer? Yes. Someone said the last one would be locked behind MSQ. Yeah. So do we want to do the next four raids or should I just do MSQ for a bit? I could do the next four raids and then dive back into MSQ since I'll have to. Your girl won 10k in mini cack pot? Fuck yeah, girl. Hell yeah. All right, do I have anyone to do the raids with though? Is my team here? Are my babies here? <laughs> They're fairly quick together and real nice in the story, but. I'm in fact online, perfect. Hi, Sarah, and hello! Alright, I may as well do the next four raids then. I trust y'all. I trust chat's opinion more than mine in terms of Final Fantasy, so. <coughs> Who the fuck bonked me? Excuse me, I wasn't being honey. Thank you for the bonk, though. I appreciate it. I can help them, but I'm the only mod in chat right now. I'll oh, stay back and watch the children. Yes, you watch the children. You watch the children. I don't know, I don't know where our other uh, patrol officers are, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. I'm so excited. We may get a house tomorrow. We may actually have a shot at winning the FC uh, lottery. Did anyone take the guilt of the chest to bid? Yeah, so someone took out 19 mil. Oranges did. And so I think there's still 19 mil left. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Wishing you housing RNG luck. Thank you! Fingies crossed, fingies crossed. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Who, what was I leveling for? Oh, I was just doing Dark Knight, right? Yeah. Okay. So the Eden stuff was in Norvrant. It was, was it here? No, not the Crystarium. No. Wait, was it? No. I. It was south of Amarang, right? Yeah, Amarang. <laughs> Bring up the game at Isley Sexy Dances. Bonk is warranted. What's wrong with cat girls being hot girls? Got a problem with that? <laughs> Why was I a duck? Hey, I was a chocobo. Get it right. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Oh, let me check uh, my journal. Oh, I didn't even accept the quest yet, so I do have to just go find the shippy dude. Our car. Where is it? Okay. 
Fancy cackle bonk. I know. Y'all should be praising it. Y'all don't like cat girls up in here? What's wrong with cat girls? Hmm? I was a chocobo because I'm sexy. And I look like a banana. That's it. That's all. Do you need any more reason? <laughs> I did my lips today. And the first thing that I thought of was, oh no, I look like Gaia. Just these big, pouty... Dramatic lips. <laughs> Bunny girls over cat girls? That's okay, I believe in Vieira's supremacy. I believe in Vieira's supremacy, but unfortunately... I lack me a little bit of pussy every so often. I love how Gaia looks, me too. She literally looks like Kristen Ritter. Gaia is lost in thought as she gazes towards the silent giant on the horizon. Alright, let's see what's going on here, yeah? I love her hair, it's so long. I know what it's like. It was the same for me. But I was lucky, because the anchor freed me from Yulmore, and I had a chance to see the world. More importantly though, I met all kinds of people, and they taught me not to live in another shadow, but to be myself. Maybe one day you'll have that chance too. Said your piece, have you? I... One day? What's that supposed to mean? I... just... I don't know how the Great Oracle of Light sees such things, but for someone like me, who's only known life in Yulmore, there was no tomorrow. There was no future. Only the here and now. And while we waste time on these meaningless conversations, I feel each moment of my life slipping away. Time. It won't wait. Not for me. Not for anyone. The drama? I don't know how much longer I can hold on... To who I am. I'm sorry, Gaia. Gaia? <laughs> That's probably not even my real name. It isn't? When Thancred asked me my name, I couldn't remember. Oh shit. Hmm. That's when the fairy whispered to me Gaia. But if you grew up in Yulmore, surely someone there must know who you are. Everyone I once knew had either disappeared or had been turned into Sin Eaters. Those whose faces and names I still remember, that is. In the end, we found not a single person who so much as recognized me. As far as I can recall, I've never been the most sociable person, but still. Well, even if it's not your real name, I think Gaia sounds lovely. If you're happy with it, then that's what I'll call you. And if you're willing, instead of the Oracle of Light, please call me Reen. It's not the name I was born with, that's long forgotten now, but the one the people whom I consider family gave to me. Oh! Oh, my heart! Is that so? Well, as much as I'd love to keep up this chatting, there's something that's bothering me. I thought the fairy would have reacted to Eden in some way, but so far, nothing whatsoever. From what I gather, it wasn't until Eden started moving that I appeared out of the blue. Yeah, we know that. Perhaps if you were to actually try flying it somewhere, the fairy might break its silence. If you've got elements to restore, whatever it was, why don't you hurry up and get it over with? Girl! At once, your ladyship. You need to learn some manners. No, I like her spunk. At once, your ladyship. Yeah, it may be best to resign ourselves to her mannerisms. Good thing we're not wholly unfamiliar with attending nobility, given certain company in the Scions. <laughs> of whom... Whomsoever dost thou speak, I wonder. Alright, everyone. I think we've talked for long enough. If you're ready, let's make our way to Eden. I do like the dynamic that Gaia brings to the table. She re she actually reminds me of Bankrupt, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck me! You know what? Time to make my lips just even bigger. I'm gonna fuck up. I'm gonna fuck up in style. 
Tangra can be Ubu Bean too. Wait, by the way, between Reen, Gaia, and Pepper, the scene has Ubu Bean overflow. <laughs> if I stop lurking, yell at me. Say less, dentist. Hi, Swaggy. What's up? Hi, Jin. What are you excusing me about? I went and watched the VOD from yesterday to see you do the Dark Knight quest, and it was so sweet. Oh my god, that fucking reminds me. Oh my god, I was told to look at the journal for it. Um. Oh no, I don't know. Um. I don't know where it would, where it would be. Um, role quests? Disciple of War job quests. Would it be here? Yes, our closure. After sparing a few moments to chat about your extraordinary adventures in the first, Sudurgu informs you that he has come into possession of an anonymous letter addressed to you. Out of respect for your privacy, as you refrain from opening it, and after he takes his leave to chase after a rather annoyed Riel, you are left alone to read this. Is this gonna make me cry? Is this gonna make me sad? Hi, Avalon! Alright, let's read this. But if you're reading this, then you know how the story go- <laughs> But if you're reading this, then you know how the story goes, don't you? So now comes the choice. Hold the crystal close that we may enjoy these moments together, or put it away and pretend I was never a part of it. That I was never really here. Peppermint, you'll forgive me for the sudden correspondence and the secrecy- Oh yeah, the letter. Uh, you helped me in a way. You helped me in a way. Once upon a time- Once upon a time- Oh my god, I can't read. It's past time I said as much, and so here we are. Feels like a lifetime ago, come to think on it. You've been through quite a lot since then. Accomplished incredible things. I like to think that, in some way, I was a part of your journey. Far from the best, no doubt, but for me and my own journey, I think it's safe to say that you've been... Well, there's no simple words to describe it, really. I've done things. Made decisions. Looking back, I can't help but feel more than a little foolish. But such is life, and we have to seize what few opportunities we have for closure. Even if it is through the written word and not face-to-face. -face. So wherever you are... Where is it? I lost it. So wherever you are, I hope you're happy. Still fighting, still adventuring, still doing what you love. Be well. The cryptic letter speaks for itself. Perhaps Lenny, the woman who delivered it to Sudurgu, might be able to shed blah, 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 blah. Okay. Or at least, or at least help, you go to, help you to go through the motions and put one foot from the other. Over and over again. Off you trot. Lenny, it turns out, is none other than the girl you've rescued from the clutches of corrupt Temple Knights a lifetime ago. She is not, however, the author of the letter, and explains that she received it from one sir- I don't even remember how to pronounce that- who stated it was to be delivered to the hero of the Scions. It would seem a visit to the congregation is in order. She didn't know, of course. How could she? She's not even sure how many of you there, are, there were that day. Are you? But never mind that. You have a search to continue. Sir- Parchapapachapapacha was no more than another link in the chain, having received the letter from Morella of Ralgar's Reach. He, like you, had been injured at the Gimel Dark, and so he spent some nights there convalescing, yeah, con convale con convalescing, convale whatever, in her care. If further answers are to be found, it'll be at the barber. Do you remember Sir Patronade? Patr Patronad? I do. Not by the name, of course. You didn't have one when the tower fell. That's how these things so often go. You do your bit, only later to fill in the gaps, to piece together the picture in distant hindsight. What will your legacy be tomorrow, and the day after, and the days after that? After clarifying that you are you are come not in search of a lost child yet again, Orella explains to you that the letter came with a shipment of medical supplies from Little El Amigo. She can only assume that the author intended for Commander Hex to take charge of it and deliver to deliver it to you personally, as you depart for Southern Thanaland to retrace another leg of the letter's journey. And Orella's just another step in your own journey. Will you remember her? What about the names in her ledger? Conrad Kemp. Uh, Mefred Noward. Uh, but they were doomed from the first, a part of you whispers. Inevitable deaths on the road to a foregone conclusion, saith the hardened heart in retrospect. You'd be wrong, of course. It never had to be this way. This world is exactly as we choose to make it. Gundabal regards you thoughtfully and states that the letter speaks for itself, which is why he agreed to send on the author's behalf. However, if you are unwilling to let it lie, if you still seek answers and closure, he will not deny you. There is a man at the Red Rooster Stead in Lower Lenosha that may be able to help you find a measure of peace. Now Gundabald, he's seen you at your best and at your worst. He's seen you when you were one and when you were two. He could tell you someone wrote the letter, if that's what you'd like to believe. It'd be a turn, sure, but we've seen stranger things. 
Or he could continue to regard you with that same mixture of concern and fear that bubbles to the surface when the topic of us comes up and say nothing of the sort. And you, you go to Red Rooster instead, with the answer of your choosing. See if it's all to your satisfaction. The man at the Red Rooster said turns out to be yet another figure from your past, a former merchant who bade you, you who bade you retrieve his stolen wares, and berated you for the condition in which you returned them, returned them to him. I like I distinctly remember that. Wasn't that in A Realm Reborn? I feel like that was at the beginning of A Realm Reborn. Though I I could be wrong, but I do. This was like the only guy that I actually remembered. <laughs> Ever since that fateful day, his life has been a succession of failures until, while going through his meager possessions, he chanced to find a bloodstained package of flower balls from once upon a time. Thereafter, he resolved to become a botanist and start anew, and as a humble token of his appreciation, long overdue, he offers a flower, but it is not for you. Another nameless face, then, or oh, another nameless face, now named, then conniving, now humbled, as well he should be, no? I gave him a right talking to, or you did, your choice. And after a string of bad luck, he since turned over a new leaf and found a flower, suitable for funerals and farewells. I told you before you know how the story goes, didn't I? Come and see, Pepper. Come and see. This? I- Um! Uh, my- Like, the hairs on my arms are, like, rising at this. Hi, Flashy! How are you? What's up? Welcome! A-H-H-H, my water is breaking. I'm about to burst or or way wow ow ow A-H-H-H, childbirth really is as painful as they say are. Ah. I'm gonna name them Chai T. Or or ooh war or ooh woo. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry, Nix, thank you for the nine month resub. I'm so honored to have this baby with you. Welcome back. Hey, Vlad! So many of the Dark Knight journals are just so good. Maybe I have to go back and read the rest when I'm when I'm offline. You say a few words and offer a flower in memory of a memory. Now go and don't look back. It's been a long, strange journey filled with all kinds of ups and downs. Your journey, to be sure. But like I wrote before, I'd like to pretend I was an important part of it. Vanity, I, but how can I not think of legacy now, when we've been to the first and witnessed firsthand the lengths to which man will go to be remembered? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a war flashback! I'm getting a war flashback! I'm getting a war flashback to Emmett. Oh, lord. I want to believe, I need to believe, that this was not for nothing. That I changed you for the better, as you changed me. Sudurgu was waiting for you with real in the Forgotten Night when you returned. He asked you what you found, what it was all for, and you reply? Time to go. I don't know when we'll do this again, if we'll ever do this again. The little trick you've learned doesn't count, you know. But even if this is our end, it won't change what we had. I love you more than you'll ever know. Be well. <laughs> I don't know how to digest this. Yeah, because that's the level 80 quest. Or level 80 ability. I assumed it was linked. <laughs> Why am I so heartbroken? But I've already cried. <laughs> I 
I can't handle this game sometimes. The writing is so good. I feel so connected. But now I feel so lost. I feel like I could be wrong. But I feel like that's the first time a character, or like a character, or I guess Pepper to Pepper self, someone has said I love you to me. Alright, I'm good. I'm fine. I also haven't heard someone say I love you to me in a long time, so I'm just sitting here like, damn. <laughs> well, you know what? At least I love myself. Right, Pepper? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go to Eden's core and get through this. Bruh. Let's go punch some fucking guns! Um, yeah, we've been called family a few times, but I've never seen, seen I love you until this point. Yeah, I have never, I have never seen anyone say I love you to the Warrior of Light. And it's very fitting that, like, you know, you're, like, you're telling yourself I love you, you know? Man! I'm so glad I'm not in therapy anymore! I still have the letter I wrote um, when I finished the level 70 quest and I was crying. Gangsters, what's up guys? I love you. Oh, I love you too, Dentist, and you too, Queen Vader, and you too, Jin. I don't want to cry! My makeup looks really good today! Oh! Pompadour? No, but there is another artist that I follow that does really good Dark Knight comics. Oof, plot twist, it's them. Oh, it's not them. But I will now follow them. And I will check it out later. <sighs> Dark Knight is an absolutely fuck class because canonically it gets its power and strength from the love a person has for their fellow man and for themselves, which means that nearly every other piece of Japanese made the Dark Knight would be a magical girl. You're basically edgy Sailor Moon. <laughs> I'm, I'm edgy Sailor Moon. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what did I just walk into? You just walked into me crying because this game makes me very emotional. I think that counts for 37? No! That's not 37, that's one long cry, okay? Hi, Viper. Ugh. I love you too, Avalon! To count as 37? Look, I'm trying not to stop. I love you too, chat. I love y'all. Okay. I'm good. I'm fine. We're okay. We're good. We're full of love, we're full of acceptance, we're full of care, we have each other, it's group hug time, just gonna hug it out. <sighs> Sorry, it's gonna need to hydrate through patch content. <laughs> 
Ben Walker. Oh no, should I go get my water? But I sent you some love last night because yesterday. Oh, did you send it on Instagram? I haven't had the time to check DMs. <sighs> to ruin the mood, how much would gamer tears sell for? Um, I'm not sure. Should I start selling mine? Is there DNA in my tears? Feels like an awkward time to do this. No, thank you, Dick, for the 21 month resub. I appreciate it. How is it the size even prettier when she cries? You think I'm pretty when I cry? Bitch, hold the fuck up. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Just you wait. You want to see what I fucking look like when I cry? Where are those photos? I know they're here somewhere. You know what? They're on my phone. You think I look pretty when I cry? Nah. Nah. Is this your streamer? Is that your streamer, chat? Gripping on to Orshifa with dear life. <laughs> Hi, Princess Roku, it's nice to see you! No, my streamer has black hair, true. And I get the one with the mascara, literally pouring down your face like Niagara Falls! True, 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 hold up. Hold up, chat. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, <laughs> is this your streamer? Is that... is that your streamer chat? <laughs> Look, listen, all I'm saying is if Endwalker doesn't make me cry like that, I will be very disappointed. I will be so disappointed. Because I kept sitting here and I kept telling y'all, nothing will ever make me cry the way Heaven's Ward did. And yes, Shadowbringers made me sad. It made me cry. But it did not... Did you see me during Heaven's War? <laughs> during like three moments, it was just like hours of me going, e <laughs> Oh, and Walker will destroy you? Oh no. Are my energy van- or my- what is it? Yeah, I guess my energy vampires are y'all here. Oh, my emotional support vampires. Are there any clips of Heaven's Ward gameplay? I think so. I will be uploading um, my Heaven's Ward, sorry, my Heaven's Ward VODs onto YouTube soon. I haven't really been using the YouTube channel, but my VODs will be there, so you can watch my Heaven's Ward playthrough soon. Can one of my mods remind me to start uploading them overnight? I think I had any tears left by the ends of Endwalker. Oh no. Y'all are scaring me. I need to see post vault. It was a time. It. There is a moment of me, like, literally just going to see Edma, and I'm like, okay. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't. Hold on. I have it on my PC. Let me see if I can bring it up. Just <laughs> hailing like Colin from the Shadows. That's exactly what I'm picturing. Okay, let me see if I can, like, pull up the VOD very quick. It's one of these ones, I think. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. When did I finish 
Heaven's War chat. Did I finish it in June? Or did I finish it in May? What did my tweet say? Uh, July 21st. Okay. July 21st. Oh, I think I, I may have found it. I, I may have found it. Oh, shit. Oh, Sid, fuck. It's no use. Nope, it's not this one. But it must be this one. Nope, it's not this one. Oh, it may have been the 20th, because I may have done... Oh, I, I think this is when I was doing two streams today. Oh, I found it. I found it. Well, I guess we're not doing this one yet. Oh. I think... Vincent, my boy! I think it's this I one. Chocobo, I think I it may be this one, because isn't this what I was wearing? Was it this one, chat? Oh, my camera's blocking me? It was this stream, right? Yeah, this is before the vault. But don't worry. It's here, too. It's either in this one or the one immediately after. Let's see. Because I think this is what I was... This is it! <laughs> I'm coming! This is it! Uh, Hold on. <laughs> Pepe laughs, she doesn't know! Uh, sigils on the ring? Oh, don't. Don't. I mean, one or two. <laughs> I have not. I have not seen this in so long. I was so innocent. Cathedral gargoyle. I was oh, so innocent. Me. Dungeon. Oh, I remember doing. Save the day. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Save the day. Oh, oh, honey. Now. Oh, honey, you got a big storm. I'm, I'm pushing it. I pushed it. Okay. Oh. If I only knew. <laughs> we do a sweat. We do a sweat. We do a Moogle sweat. She do. <laughs> Someone killed the boss where he could use it. I figured. Maybe, was it was it Sarnix? Was it me? I don't know. Probably Sarnix. Sarnix does chunk. Yeah, Sarnix does big damage. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, could not have been me. <laughs> All right, we're done. The we the vod is so it, high team. quality that we it's like it. bugging out. We saved but... the day. All right. <laughs> we saved the day. Oh. We did it. Oh me! I'm a big cutscene's gonna come through. Oh me! Oh, Paul, how can this be? <laughs> cutscene, yum 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 yum. Pull back! I was so innocent. I was so pure. Run, Pep, run! <gasps> is that. Is that Sid? Honey. Is that Sid? Honey. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh, oh me. <laughs> I'm living for the popcorn spam. I thought that said titties, but it says yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we really doing this? Wait. That's not Sid. Wait. What's <laughs> going on here? Oh, we got like I'm sitting in like the same position just <laughs> Father, please. Father, please. Oh, You're not too late, my friend. Ah! PMA is like a puppy. I love that. Ah! <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that voice in so long. Now is the time. 
and to announce the lies which led us down this path. To start anew! Quit the portrait! My boy! And tear down the very pillars of our society? Our history, our values, Ugh. everything we have built over a thousand years? Don't look, this is gonna I'll be traumatizing. I was so confused. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was so- I was so enthralled! Look out! I was- <laughs> My knight in shining armor? Honey! No. Absolutely not! Girl, are you good? Are you good? <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, my Go. boy! Mrs. Sla awaits. Oh. My boy! I know, my girl. Boy! I know, girl. I know. I can literally see my eyes swelling. The one character I sent for and they take it away from me. Girl, I know. Girl, I know you're telling me. And then Emmett dies too. I couldn't even sit for that man either. They take him all away. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. You. You are unharmed. <laughs> Forgive me. I could not bear the thought of. Oh, oh you're no! Dead. So sweet, you're dying. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Don't be so PMA.
Oh, okay. Oh. That's cry number 37, I, I think. I know not what to say. The others, they, they're gonna put a banner. You gotta go. Yeah, I go. You gotta go see a banner. What is me? I feel like I'm doing a walk of shame. Oh, this book is <laughs> Oh, I'm not oh. ready. 500 bits. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Defeated my uh, voice. Uh, yes, Princess Roku, I'll do well, it. Well, I oh. made it oh. to my would be in law's home. Oh. <sighs> Why am I doing this? Why am I still watching this? Please. <laughs> A knight lives to serve, to protect, to sacrifice. <laughs> there is no greater calling. <laughs> Leave me to mourn and give peace for my son and for the nation he loved. Go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Disaster. Oh. oh my All right, God. chat. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Oh. Is that what you wanted, chat? Oh. Oh. Look at me. <laughs> Do you see what I've done to myself? Oh, my God. Oh. I learnt the power of makeup, though. My makeup isn't running. <sighs> I learnt my lesson after Orshifal passed away. <sighs> now admit you love the rat man? Listen here, you fucking little shit. Oh. Do I look like someone that loves the rat man? I got my man here. I got my man here. I got my man here. Do I look like someone who loves the rat man? Oh my god, I got something in my eye. Look. Yeah, that's right. I got an Orshifar rug. This is my boy. Okay? I couldn't step on him in game, so I gotta step on him somehow. So, listen. I do not have an Emmett self body pillow. So. I look, look, here's my thing, okay, would you like one? I am not answering that question. So <laughs> here's my thing, okay, did it not arrive yet? Enough. So I 
I... I thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> the Amazon order is today. Get out. It's Etsy, actually. I thoroughly enjoyed Emmett Selk's character arc. I I really enjoyed his character. He is smelly. And he looks like a sewer rat. But... <clears throat> Um. But I do love him. <laughs> <coughs> I do love his character. I feel like... I don't know. I just like... I don't... I don't know... I don't know. I'm, I don't simp for him the way that I simp for Orshifa. I, I, I was in love with Orshifa. Like, I I love that character through and through. But with Emmett, I was like, yeah, you're hot, but, like, fuck off, you know? But I'm also a brat, and he kind of has brat energy, so I guess that was just two brats, like, you know, button heads. But, I mean, like, he's dead now, too. So, like, I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, well... I don't have enough. I mean, maybe if I replay Shadowbringers, I do like New Game Plus, I can get like, get in the feels more. But with Orshifa, it was just like, I don't know. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not simping for Emmett. I know everyone I love dies. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I just need to not simp for anybody. <coughs> Golden Retriever Boy versus Rat Man. Go! Golden Retriever Boy wins, okay? Emmett would never defend me. Emmett would never defend me the way that Orshifan did. You know? He had so much faith in us. He had so much trust in us. <clears throat> Emmett would never. <laughs> And he can never. At least Orchvon didn't die by your hand. True. At least I didn't kill him. Emmett would destroy humanity just to bring back his loved ones. But I am not his loved one! Yeah! He made me hot cocoa! Would Emmett make me hot cocoa? No! Emmett would go to the sewers from where he lives, take like a raggedy ass cup that he hasn't washed in a hundred years, Scoop up some of that sewage water and be like, here, I saw that you were thirsty. Thought you might need this. Oh, you don't want it? Fine, fuck me, I guess. <coughs> but also, I am also like that, so. Can't judge too much. Okay. <coughs> okay, Jet. I cried a lot, and now I need to get water and some Buckleys. Can you guys give me, like, five minutes? I'm gonna just, um... I'm gonna fix my makeup and disappear for a second. I'll be right back. Give me a secky. <laughs> Why you don't like my disgusting gift? <laughs>
Okay, chat, I'm back. Hi. Um, Firebird Eternal, you said, um, I still like to imagine that my worry of light just goes to Fortal Manor when things are too much too stressful because it's still treated like family. Yeah, I have the same headcanon. Um, <clears throat> I like to think that, um, Pepper actually, like, spends most of her time there, um, before she gets a place in Imperium. And in the, in, she, she stays in Orshifan's old room, the one that he doesn't use because he's never there. Um, or clearly he's never there now, but you know. Um, and I have this headcanon that whenever things for her get really stressful or she's tired or she needs to, like, breathe, she goes to, um, his little grave. And she sits with him and she talks to him because that's what would calm her down the most. She would talk to him when he was alive and he would just give her that little pep talk. So yeah, <clears throat> that's my head cannon. And when I think about it, I get really sad. And I've started working on a little fanfic series that like goes through that, her talking to him. So if y'all like to read, that'll be up eventually. <sighs> and it, it like, it makes me really sad, y'all, um, for, for those who know me, I love a good tragic character, I love tragedy, like, the character, my Dragon Age OC that I'm writing fanfic for on AO3, by the way, you can do Commando with AO3 on the chat, my fanfic is there, um, she's got tragic fucking, she's got a sad life, all of my characters are very depressing, Peppermint, this little bean, she started off as the one character that I've ever created who was just kind. She was just nice. She, no trauma, nothing. Just some girl who is now like the chosen one and, and what have you. You know, like, she was not built for that. And then I had to fucking sip for Orshifa, and that went out the window. Bitch picked up the Dark Knight. She got traumatized through and through. I really thought, I really thought Miss Peppermint would just be coasting. I played myself. I really played myself. Thank you for bumping it, Kelsey. I'd love to read that and cry myself to sleep. I got you. I got you. I'll post it when it's when it's ready. I think I'm gonna finish it to its entirety and then upload it so I'm not doing like chapter by chapter by chapter like I am with my with my Dragon Age fanfic. Oh, <sighs> yeah. All right. The joke is that the class they released in 7.0 is gonna be therapist. Oh god. That's funny. All right. So now we're gonna continue onwards with the Eden quest line. Hope y'all enjoyed my trauma. There's a video I need to recommend to you once you're done with 5.5 and ready for Endwalker. It was a tribute music video that someone put together for the Roar of Light and it's also devastating emotionally. Why, why do you, and you want me to watch that? Let me guess, you want me to watch it on stream? You fucking vampires. Okay, I'm assuming Matt's jo joining me. Like, who else is joining me? Is Sarnix joining me? No. Because Sarnix is mean. Who else is joining me? Is Orange just joining me? Action Star Jones! Which one is it? Oh, I'm finishing up the Eden, the Eden stuff. We just want to feel again? Look, I'll- look, listen. Since I write fanfic, Y'all can feel me. Oh. Feel through me. <laughs> I meant feel like through me. Like <laughs> Nah, nah. You you thought I was feeling you? No, 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 no. I I meant I meant I meant I meant I can make you cry, is what I'm saying. 
I'm good at making people cry. Look, to the people who've, who've read my fanfic, have I made y'all cry yet? Or get emotional? The big crying beats aren't there yet, but it's coming. Oh my god, that reminds me. Thank you for gifting a sub to Oranges, but also... Uh, Dissatisfied, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Dentist, thank you for gifting 10 community subs. I really appreciate it. Dickwood, thank you for gifting a sub as well. Thank you. I totally forgot I missed those. Okay. Is, is Jin not coming? I already invited him. Um, who else is joining me? Who else is joining? Is my little Lollafell friend joining? There is a lot of fanfic here. Look, I don't... <laughs> I only have three bits up. I have one of my D&D character, Void, who, by the way, is so fucking fine. I show her off all the time, but I gotta do it again. Nikki, thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Thank you! Welcome to the coven, everybody. Um, I know I show y'all Void all the time, but for those of you who, who have never seen my D&D OC... My current D&D &D OC? Y'all. Get ready. To simp. Let me turn on the brightness. She is so fucking fine. And she's a little bitch. Who's got a lot of trauma. She was abandoned when she was a child, and now she kind of accidentally sold her soul. <laughs> I guess you want to put it that way. She made a really bad pact with a with her patron, her bitchy snake patron. And she has to do her bidding. It's it's a uh, it's sad. Did you watch Dragon Age Absolution? I did. Fucking amazing. She has problems, she makes it everyone else's problem. Exactly. Exactly. Self-insert? Maybe. Wait, my parents never abandoned me. Oh, Saren, you want to join us? Sure. Um, you can, if you can add me very quickly. Hi, Ponto. I know, I started super late. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. My new medication knocked me out today, so I haven't really been able to, um, to be awake. So I passed out. It took me a hot minute to, uh, to go live, and I'm very sorry for that chat. Ponto, are you going to join us? <gasps> Tell! The baby! I can play with them! I'm here if you need me. What's your character name again? Sorry, I'm like really bad with character names. I really need to start writing these down. Void could kill me and I would thank her. Say less. All right, Ponto. You just finished Savage? Hell yeah. We have room for two more. Mojitos? Yes, the cats in this game are called the Mojitos. Mm. Chowder, right. You are my little Lollafell friend. All right, we have room for one more now. Who is on my friend list that can join? <laughs> I'll fill a hole. Ponto? How about the hole in Orshifon's uh, shield, huh? You gonna fill that? Are we getting holes filled tonight, y'all? Does anyone need a hole to be filled? Or have a hole that needs to be filled? Oh, Sarnix? You have a hole that needs to be filled? Yo, say less. Okay, it's gonna be first come, first serve. <gasps> so, who's gonna make it? Is it gonna be Emmy? Is it gonna be Ponto? 
Jaron on air, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. Hi friends, my name is Sarah. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. We are currently going through the Eden quest line in post Shadowbringers. And this is about it. Having a lot of fun. Gonna hopefully wrap it up and then be able to return to MSQ. That hole belongs to Orishima, true. And watching the vault, yes. Yes. We also went through uh we we looked at my um my old vod of when i went through the vault and it hurt no i did not do omega what does Kristen ritter mean oh because gaia looks like Kristen ritter at least i think she does huge fan of your reactions i see you go through ian oh thanks jer that's very sweet of you i am not a huge fan of my uh reactions because my makeup I wish my makeup would say attack. This eyelash is really pissing me off, chat. Hold on. This one is on fine, see? Oh no, wait. But this one, it's doing the weird, like, it's not staying up. Now it is. But that's because I pushed it up. Alright, we're, we're bald. We're bald? Why did I say we're bald? I meant we're good, not we're bald. <laughs> Alright, we got a full party now. I'm so sorry, Ponto babes. I'm so sorry, babies. But we're full. Alright, are we ready? Are y'all gonna carry me? Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. We're bald! We're bald, chat! Yes! Next time, next time. So true, bestie. Maybe you should have been here earlier, and then you could have uh, gotten first dibs. Following the initial changes wrought by the release of water and earth, the empty has displayed no further signs of alteration. Why does the music in this game, like, bang sometimes? I know, it's always the left eyelash release, you get me, but it looks great. Thank you! Stability, some may call this, and be satisfied, but in truth, it is passiv passivity. Passivity. A passivity stemming from light's ever pervasive presence. If we are to break the status quo, we must needs employ a catalyst, a third element that shall ruse and stabilize those unleashed energies and activity. Therefore, I propose lightning. So the primal would be Ramu, yes? From what I've heard, his guardian of the forest is not particularly keen on conflict, but you've actually fought him, haven't you? He's half man, half beard, and half, and another half beard for good measure. I spend most of the time chasing after orbs in varying degrees of success. Don't fucking kill me, girl. Look, I never remember the mechanics for Ramu. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with the first one. Ah, yes. Thanker mentioned that he more closely resembles a person than a beast, unlike most of the primals. And apparently he tends not to move about much. I'm glad to see our lessons have paid off. Well, it's like you say, if we want to call forth an accurate representation of the primal, I should picture it in my mind as clear as possible. At the very least, it's worth a try, but the rest is up to cover. Mm. In order for this to work, we need to actually fly somewhere, yes? So rather than sitting in one spot while you exchange anecdotes, why don't you get this blasted thing moving first? Girl, chill! One must admit, the suggestion is not without merit. Reen, might I suggest the Gandor- the Gandorf? The Gandorf Thunderplains as our next location? Sorry, I had to sneeze. It's like still in there. That's not coming out. It's like constipation, but for my nose. Constanotion. Nostipation. These planes, it is rich, where we're perpetually blanketed in storm clouds. The only source of illumination, the ceaseless bar The only source of illumination, the ceaseless barrage of lightning. The ambient ether that lingers there shall provide ideal conditions for the summoning. And that's where we're heading. Come on, Eden. We've got a job to do. Yeah! Let's go! 
Alright. I think I'm ready. This should be as good a spot as any. Alright, Pepper, whenever you're ready. Alright, vibes. You all ready? Can I just, like, skip this little cutscene here? Because it's just me, like, opening my eyes, right? Memories are removed, flash through your mind. Yeah. I think I could just skip these. Just to get on with it. Aiden's verse! Fulmination! Now accessible! Yeah, vibes. Ready? Yeah, vibes. Yeah. We've got two red mages, two scholars, and a summoner. Yeah, vibes. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah. No, Rain, I'm not trying to talk to you. No, fuck me. I gotta go over here, my bad. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. This looks like another floating platform. Godspeed to me. Godspeed. Am I ready? No. Am I ever ready? Fuck no. <laughs> what is the skater boy ass music? There's no turning back. Get ready. Oh, bitch! I got voice acting there? Hell yeah. So, this is Ramu. Crippling blow? Is that gonna push me off the edge? No, cool. Bro, he's so hot. Does this mean. Okay. If this. If he's like half horse, does that mean he has a. A large. A large fella? Wait, why is everyone going this way? Why are we all going this way? What's going on? What's happening? Could I have- could I have saved in that? Oh, no. Didn't die, so... I would have died too! <gasps> What's happening here? <gasps> Surge protection? What are we getting protection for? You gonna fuck me? I have two left on me. What does that mean? I just saw other people grabbing him and I was like, sure. Does it protect me from from his like abilities or something? From one of his like blows? That one maybe? Uh, what's going on? What's he pooping out? Oh, there's another one behind him. Oh god, what is what, what what do I do here? Is it gonna push me to the edge? Yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> here, I'll turn him this way. I don't know if that's better for y'all or not. Oh, okay, or he'll fucking run away from me, that's fine too. Wait, what? Oh, uh, we're going this way. Well. Oh, thank 
you. Thank you for the rest. I appreciate it, vibes. Thank you. Oh, cracky. Oh, good lord. Okay. I'll let him say. Oh, wait, why was I spamming that? Oh no, I could have. So I have a thing. Okay. I'm dumb. Only sometimes. What's going on? Oh, okay. Look at Jin's little ca Captain Aorzea fit. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. I'll press the wrong button. <laughs> it appears, um, I got railed. Aww, look at all of you trying to res me. Oh, hello? Oh, hello? Oh? My no, come back! God, he's so fun. He is so fun. It is giving Vlad Tepish from Castlevania. Oy! What's going on? Why are we running? Why are we running? Why are we running? Oh, wrong thing. What's going on? What's going on? Do I need an orb? Oh, this shit. Hey, I didn't die. Is that what the orbs protected me from? Oh, I gotta sneeze again, chat. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. I'm good. No! Oh, I'm fine. I'm chilling. We're ball. We're ball? We are ball. We are ball. Brink of death? Now where in the hell do you mean by that? <gasps> I just saw my life flash before my eyes! Good lord! Oh, I see how the thing is laid out now. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm understanding. Oh, he is so fun. I feel so bad. I have taken thy measure of bringer of light. Oh no. I miss you. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. <laughs> we ball. We are ball. Chat. We our ball.
He's the mount for the raid? You're saying I can ride him? Oh fuck! I was not paying attention. I was thinking about riding him. Fuck. I'm so sorry. I want him as a mount so bad. Could you imagine? Alright. So it's purple now, but what's the giveaway? The clouds in the sky? How do we know... What's, what's the telltale sign? Hmm, the crystal is a different color, but apart from that, it looks it all looks the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It may look the same, I, but it feels different. The air has grown slightly more humid, as it does before rain. Oh. I have to say, I'm not exactly prepared for wet weather. If Eden can control elements and so on, can't you tell it to send those clouds somewhere else? Speaking of which, I'm not very impressed with its so-called powers. If you're changing yellow crystals to purple is the extent of its abilities. It's no surprise the fairy didn't bother showing up. I hope that whatever's next is more worthwhile. Bitch! You're right, but chill! Rather than influencing the ground beneath our feet, Eden hath brought change to the firmament above. And yet, tis clear that a more dynamic element is required for the natural cycle of precipitation and evaporation to be complete. So we need movement. Would wind do the trick? Most certainly. Oh my god, do we have to fight the whale? It seems we have a plan. Let's not dwell too much on the efforts of each individual element, and instead focus on seeing them all restored. Sounds good, bestie. The power of an oracle. Not to be sniffed at, it seems. All my life, you were a constant companion, your voice ever seeping into my mind. Why then, of all times, did you abandon me? Deaf even to the crashing of thunder, or were you simply biding your time? Is she talking to the fairy in her head? At least I think that's what I presumed. I can see you wearing Gaia's outfit, Syra. Yeah, me. That her girl. I I literally have. Like, I, I could fucking whip this up right now. You know? Like, now just use your imagination. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me, like, let me fix this. So my eyelashes are giving me a hard time right now. I should cosplay Gaia, what do you think? I need to finish my Ishtola first, but I could do Gaia. Gaia. Pepper Gaia being smaller than Pepper is wild. Yeah, not by much. <laughs> not by much. Gyra. That's us. We're Gyra. I am Gyra. When I cosplay Gaia, I'm Gyra. Will have you come up to Uriange's waist? Yes. Did you know that I'm um, standing up straight? Pepper could suck or never mind. Never mind. I said nothing. Y'all didn't hear shit. I said nothing. Like I'm just saying. Guy is probably taller than Iron Sire though. All right, listen. If it weren't for my arthritis, I'd be taller, okay? But yeah, no, Pepper is, like, the perfect dick height. Standing up straight, Pepper's face aligns with Orshifon's pee-pee. It's great. She doesn't even need to go on her knees. She just has to stand up.
Is it the same for Urianje? Nope. Urianje is shorter than Orshifa. Anyway. <laughs> Urianje's knitted brow almost certainly spells trouble, namely for you. Ere we set out once more, might I ask if thou art familiar with the process by which rain is made to fall? I suppose so. It's an elegant conspiracy! Hmm, it certainly would not be beyond the elegance to manipulate the weather, if such is thy suggestion. But it is of naturally occurring phenomena that I would speak. With the restoration of our first element, the empty was once more blessed with the most essential ingredient in the cycle of precipitation, water. Under normal circumstances, the heat existent, existent in the atmosphere would cause water to evaporate from the land's surface. As invisible vapor, it is borne by the wind high unto the firmament, where it doth come dense as clouds before descending once more, return to the land in the form of rain. It seems we need wind-aspected ether to, correct, to create more clouds. That it hasn't rained yet must mean there aren't enough. I'm learning so much. And even before that, we need fire expected ether to make the water evaporate. It seems to me that one's not much good without the other. Why don't you just draw both elements together? You're suggesting that Pepper fight two deform entities, each one as deadly as Ramu, at the same time? Do you realize how absurd that is? And yet, there's a notion that doth warrant further consideration. What? Why? Oh, you can't be serious. Cast your minds, if you will, to the elemental wheel I did show to you in the bookman's shelves. Mm. Alright, she's casting her mind. Her mind's eye. Wind giveth rise to lightning, whose spark doth produce fire. By restoring both wind and fire in tandem, we maintain balance between these dynamic elemental forces. Lightning, wind, fire, earth, water, ice, sun, moon, umbral? The elements? Umbral, astral? Okay. The ensuing battle shall indubitably present an ordeal unlike any Pepper hath ever faced. I believe, however, that this path doth lead to the prize we seek. But that's dangerous. I mean, I've done worse, I guess. Oh, so perhaps it's not so absurd after all, eh, Thancred? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of questioning Uriange's grasp of the science behind it. My concern is for the burden this would place not only on Pepper, but Reen as well. True. What do you both make of the plan? If Uriange thinks it'll work, I'm willing to give it a try. Mm. As long as you know what you're letting yourselves in for, you're going to need all your strength, so see that you get plenty of rest. Sounds good, bestie. Gaia! Now where is she going? Da -na -na -na. Oh, Garuda! Right, I forgot about Garuda. Are we calling Dick Sucking High DSH? Yeah, well, Pepper's got that DSH, baby. Is that not something everybody else checks with their characters? Do you remember? Okay. Let's get on with this. Dot, dot, dot. It seems Reen is reluctant to air her concerns. Were you to rally her spirits, she may become more willing to talk. What up, ho? I'm rallying. Yes, you're right. There's no use in trying to pilot Eden while I've got other things on my mind. It's about Gaia, you see. 
truth is that apart from Alize and Alfino, I hardly know anyone my own age. I thought that I should make an effort to be nice to Gaia, but... Well, you've seen how she is around me. I understand that she's got her own problems to deal with, but I thought that maybe I could help her in some way. You can't fix everybody, Reen. Come on. It's not my place to intrude, and I should probably just leave her be until we finish destroying the elements. After all, that's more important, isn't it? Oh, she wants friends! I have to clean up after my dog. That's okay. That's okay, Jen. I miss you. Let me talk to Gaia while you concentrate on the task at hand. Thanks, thank Chrissy. Is, is what I would have said once upon a time. Oh? It seems to me that you're the one best qualified to take care of this little problem. I know she could be a bit prickly, to put it mildly, but if anyone can get through to her, it's you. Oh. Although we've only known her for a short while, we're all she's got, and I think she realizes that. Just let her know she's not al alone, and she'll come around eventually. My horror. All right, I'll give it a try. Um, do you have any advice? Me? Thanker certainly has the gift of gab. He'll know what to say. Hurianjay can talk the hind legs off a behemoth. Why not ask him? <laughs> Though I am proficient in many tongues, such as Fey, I cannot claim to be as well versed in the parlance, parlay, parlance of the young younger generation. Their predilections and inclinations are a mystery I've yet to unravel. I don't know much about it either, but I believe I have a plan. Before she can even before she even woke up, I've been asking Lena about what's popular in the Crystarium. I thought it might be nice to show Guy around the place one day. You see, oh, so that's what you were doing? I suppose it makes for a nice change of pace from all that studying. And I must commend thee on thy choice of con choice of confidant. The captain's powers of observation maketh her a, ver a veritable font of wisdom concerning the behavior of the Crystarium citizenry. Yes, and now it's time to put that knowledge to good use. Don't let the fear of rejection hold you back. Persistence is the key. Not in every scenario, Mr. Thancred, but so true. Speaking from experience by any chance? Whatever do you mean? Lessons learned from the days spent in pursuit of Lady Spare, one might suspect. Oh, bestie. God, you couldn't keep yourself. You couldn't help yourself, could you? <laughs> it's alright, Thancred. Your secret's safe with me. <clears throat> May I remind you that the reason we're here is to create a better future for everyone in the first, which includes you and Gaia. Well, it might not be on the same scale as bringing her back to the empty. If you're able to befriend her, that will be another way of contributing to a brighter tomorrow. So go on. She's waiting for you. Alright. Wish me luck. Green is ready to approach a decidedly unapproachable Gaia. You had best observe the conversation from within earshot. Okay, chat. I have a question. And it's been something... That's been on my mind for a moment. Chat, would you... Would you fuck Thancred? Are they lesbians? Yes. But would you fuck Thancred? You know, like, I've been thinking about it. And... There's a part of me... There's a part of me that feels like... <laughs> that feels like after everything they've been through, I feel like Pepper and Thancred would have had... Like... <laughs> What's the word that I'm looking for? Not... Not rebound sex, but like, they would like, not even hate fuck, but you know, a liaison. 
Sarge, enough on the thing you're gonna kill him. <laughs> Look, I am forbidden. It is forbidden. I'm not allowed to fall in love with any other characters because then they will die. It is a curse that I am I am burdened with carrying. I am not falling in love with Thancred. I'm just saying that maybe a little bit of Thancrissy wouldn't hurt. You know? They were at a tavern together. Got drunk. Maybe Pepper started crying. Maybe Thancred got angry. Then Pepper got angry at him. And then one thing led to another. And they both woke up like shit. <laughs> My bad, dude. See you later, bro. It was nice knowing you, Thancred, but unfortunately, your death is nigh. It's coming. As will I be. What? Alright, where am I- where am I standing? Here? It's a good thing I can see that. Girl, that's what you're doing? You're do- <laughs> That's how you idle? You don't look suspicious at all! You know what? She's doing her best. All right, Reen, let's see what you got. Um. What do you want? Oh, um, nothing really. Uh, it can wait till later. For all we know, there might not even be a later. If you've got something to say, hurry up and spit it out. Um, is everything all right? Not feeling strange from being around Eden or anything? Is that what you came here to talk about? Actually, I wanted to ask you... Hmm? Would you like to go and have coffee biscuits with me? Smooth rain. Hey, yes. What? Coffee biscuits. They serve them at the second serving in the Crystarium. Everyone's talking about them, so I thought that maybe once we finish our work here, you and I could go together. Oh. Let me get this straight. You came to talk to me about biscuits? Yes! They're light and crispy, and when you dip them in the coffee, they go all nice and squidgy. I don't like that word. <laughs> Better than moist, I guess. What? The only reason you're even interested in that in the first place is because everyone else is doing it. Did you think for yourself? I do what I want, when I want. After all, the world could end at any moment. It's not going to happen. Then if I've got anything to do with it... Listen, Gaia, I understand what you're going through. Believe me, I do. But you mustn't lose hope. A new day will come. And another and another that's not so bad if you give it a chance you'll see green you precious bean just take the hint she's not she's just not that into you shut up you think you know me even i don't know who i am until i find the truth i'll never be free then we'll find it together i've seen enough pain enough loss and i don't want to see any more and that includes you, Gaia. Why do you care so much about other people? What have they ever done for you? I'm sure you haven't forgotten how we Yulmorans treated you. The precious oracle of light. Like a bird in a cage. And yet, you act as if none of that ever happened. So forgiving. So selfless. You and your family brought back the night sky. And you finally had the chance to lead a normal life. But instead, you're flying around in a giant sin eater, trying to turn a barren wasteland into some sort of paradise. And for what? I may not remember much of my past, but I'm fairly certain I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Out of morbid curiosity, I'll see it through to the end. But if you think that makes us friends, you are very much mistaken. Oh my god! 
This bitch! Gaia! Oh, Reen. Oh. I surmise that to keep Gaia waiting over long would only agitate her further. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, but she did her best. But you don't gotta be so fucking emo all the time, you know? Is Sire wearing a guy inspired top? Oh, I'm just wearing a cardigan, but y'all were saying that, like, you could see me in her outfit, so I just brought out the shoulders. <laughs> Well, what is this? You go through some cutscenes too? Oh, you're so cute. I love your outfit. You're so pretty. To defeat the day four manifestations of both wind and fire shall acquire every last mote of thy strength. That thou hast triumphed over such beings and previous encounters should be at the forefront of thy mind as we commence summoning. Mm. Where are we going this time, Marie Angers? The place called Ashfall doth satisfy our requirements, I believe. The fable speak of travelers sweltering beneath the blazing heat of the midday sun, while after nightfall, slicing winds did tear at their cloaks. Hmm, I see. Hope won't be quite that bad when I draw out the elements. Chat, how's the audio going? Is it all right? Are we good? Is it too loud? Is it not loud enough? Green, my dear, may I remind thee that to focus is not the same as to deny other thoughts. Whatsoever it is that troubleth thee, thou wouldst be better for acknowledging it. Yes, you're right. Of course. It's Gaia that I'm worried about. That is well. May thy concern for her lend thee yet more strength. Audio is good? Great. Perfect. I've got to take my medicine in about 10 minutes, chat, so if you hear my phone go off, I'm so sorry. It's time. I'll begin drawing out wind and fire in equal measure. I'm excited. Rain. Oh, wait. Pepper. We'll only get one chance at this, so let's make a count. Am I gonna have to fight two primals? Or whatever? Four. Furor. Furor? Furor? Furor. 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 I'm excited. Down. Oi! Oh, you're crafting. That's okay. Let me know when you're ready then. More Fury than Ferrari? Furor. Furor. Fur. Fur? Alright, let's do this, babe. Wait, it's Fuhrer? Fuhrer. Like, fewer? Fuhrer? Found it! Yeah, I'm just gonna call it furry. This is sick. It worked. Both wind and fire have answered the call. Green, are you alright? Oh, she cares. Wait, what happened to Reen? Also, Gaia voice actor? That means we're gonna get more Gaia in the MSQ, I think. Okay. Also, Garuda, put my pussy in your butthole. All right. I don't know what that means, by the way. You can't really put a pussy in a butthole, but it just felt right. No, no. Did Sarnix just steal aggro from me?
Oh no, she's back on me. I was gonna say, this bitch. <laughs> oh, she going between us? Hold on. What it? What it? What happened there? I used my my ability and I got fucking shalamied. Okay, so it's gonna push us that way. Fuck me in the ass. Wait, he's so hot. Why are they all so hot all of a sudden? Wood. Absolutely wood. Oh my god, my bad. Hello? Hello? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Hello? Hello? Target is out of range? Very good. Come here. <laughs> well, well, that definitely did not hurt at all. What is that? 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 Oh, okay. Interesting. God. Couple goals. I'm safe. Oh god.
keep fucking up. What do I do with this? Do I move it? What do I do with this? Okay, yeah, that's what puts me in the air. And then I just land on that thing, right? Yeah. What the hell? he's so hot and like I don't just mean on because he's on fire oh sick hell yeah we ball they I guess true because there's two of them because they fused but then they're just one them I don't know that was incredible! I never imagined they would fuse together like that, but you took them down all the same. I suppose the main thing is that we're now two elements close to restoring the ether of the empty. Let's go and see what difference it's made. Oh, what if I did something bad? What if I made it worse, chat? I feel like this raid series proves that the Warrior Blight is a monster fucker, as it should. I'm gonna have to take my medicine in just a second. So after this cutscene, I'm gonna get up. Are we all good? Are we good to keep going, by the way? It actually worked! She's like, Uriyanji said, oh yeah, it's raining! Everything we could have hoped for. Indeed, our endeavors have been repaid manifold. I wonder what will happen when we restore ice. Am I gonna have to fuck up Shiva? Who would I have to fight for for earth, for grass? Um, is something the matter? One more element, and then what? You'll have achieved the impossible while I'll still be nothing. No memory, no memory, no past, no family, nothing. <laughs> the world has moved on and left me behind. Anyone who ever knew me is either dead or gone. Oh. Yeah, but we know you now. We're your friends. We could be your found family, girl. So, almighty Eden, you can mend this broken world, but you can't restore one girl's memories. <laughs> Give me my life back, damn you! I still hunger. Oh! Extinguish the accursed light. Awaken our true power. Enough riddles! Tell me who I am! You are... I am... Gaia. Online. Gaia. Gaia? What's wrong? Reclaim your memories. Fulfill your destiny. What? I don't understand. 
Gaia, can you hear me? Get away from me! Oh no. <sighs> Amidst the sound of falling rain, your voice called from within. Long after the rain passed, your voice echoed on. Well, I'm going to go get my medicine. I will be right back, chat. Ah! Huh! Ah! Huh! I am fucking confused.
for good measure, I'm going to PP as well.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. The piss girl has finished her pee pee. Ba bow ba ba bow bow. Ba bow ba ba bow. Shit boy, shit boy, piss girl, piss girl. How's everybody doing? Did y'all miss me? Tell me you missed me. I need validation. I need to know that you missed me, chat. This is really good music for a BRBB screen. BRBB screen? I miss you so that much, Kelsey. <laughs> Nopers, I just got here. Um, you could at least lie. You could pretend. All right. <laughs> yes, lie. Haven't you ever done like a little white lie before just to make someone happy? I miss you all the time. Good. Okay. All right, thank Krusty. What you got for me? Heart of Darkness. This looks, this kind of looks end of quest line-y. I'm getting pissed girls so glad you're back as they should. As you sh as they should. Thank you just looking for Tickly Chipper despite the heavy rainfall. Yo, think about trying this game out. Should I get it through Square Enix or Steam? Uh, or Steam. Square Enix. Um, I unfortunately have it through Steam and I encounter a ton of bugs. Um, it does work. Either or is acceptable. But I recommend, from my own experience, use the Square Enix um, launcher instead. I'm very excited for you to, to try out the game, though. That's going to be fun. What brought you to it? Well, this downpour is precisely the result we were hoping for. The novelty of standing outside in the rain does wear off rather quickly. Not to mention, guys looking a bit under the weather. Oh no, listen to this conversation in Eden's core. Why not just continue this conversation in one of the two tents that we have up? Why do we have to keep going inside her core? If Steam goes down though, you can't play Final Fantasy XIV. <gasps> Steam would never betray us like that. The Square Enix website is already horrendous. No need to add another layer by buying through Steam. <laughs> Don't kill me. How are you enjoying Gaia's... Um, she's a child. Can we not sexualize her, please? Isn't Gaia, like, 17? If not 18 at most? Let's not talk about that. Thanks. That's really gross, Nano. That's really fucking gross. Oh. Oh. Anyway, don't sexualize minors, kids. Ere we set forth to restore the elements of ice, I would discuss the manner in which the summoning shall be undertaken. Just tell me one thing. Is this going to bring the empty back to the way it was before the flood? While none can say for certain, the change we have observed at points of ethereal intersection doth give us cause for optimism. It may be reasonably assumed that the empty shall continue to transform and, in the decades to come, regain a semblance of its former state. Decades? Oh, shit. I don't think you quite grasp the sheer scale of the damage left in the wake of the Flood. It would have swallowed the entire world if Minfilia hadn't stopped it. Even if Reen has inherited her blessing, wounds like that don't heal overnight. After all, the Empty has been utterly devoid of life for a hundred years. And it might take even longer than that to bring life back. I don't expect immediate results, but I do know that it will stay like this forever unless we do something about it. My sentiments precisely. Only once the final element is restored shall we have a glimpse of the future that awaiteth, awaiteth those, of, bleh, 
awaiteth those generations yet to come. You do all this for a world you may not live long enough to see? Well, here I am, so absorbed in my own problems that I spare barely a thought for anyone besides myself. Oh, she's having an epiphany. For so long, I've listened to that voice, telling me what to do, who to be. I was so scared of what might happen if I disobeyed. But I don't want to live like that anymore. I... I want to be... me. Who am I? What am I? Perhaps it's better if I never find out. If Freen's the Oracle of Light, here to mend this broken world, what does that make me? Gaia, the Oracle of Darkness, bringer of misery and death. A monster. It's no wonder they left me. Mother, father, the next, it'll be all of you. And I'll be back where I started, where I've always been. Alone. Oh no! Oh no! She's reminding me of my OC Void! Screenshotting this. Oh man. Oh shit! Wait! That bad timing! Gaia, is it the fairy? Okay, wait, this music. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just checking my phone for a second. I'm getting Asian vibes. I'm, I don't know. I don't think it's just a fa I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's wrong? Afraid I might lose control and ruin all of your carefully laid plans? No, it's you I'm worried about. Reen, I... I'm going outside to clear my head. You just do what you need to do, alright? Something's wrong. I know it. Not much is clear. If we had a repeat of her first visit to Eden, we may even be joined by the, those void sent friends of hers. You go and see what Guy is doing. Oriange and I will stay with Rain. You want me to check in on her? Alright, bet. Wait, what happens there next? Oh, shit. Ooh, there's more? My bad. My name is Gaia. That's what you said, isn't it? Eden, the Flood. What does it all mean? No, it can't be. Is this what it's been waiting for all this time? Finally, you remember. <gasps> ah! What is this? The darkness that dwells within you, Gaia. Fuck. That's so sick. The accursed spawn of light are drawn to it, like moths to a flame. Pathetic, mindless, and easily bent to will. Sin Eaters? Are those paper birds? What is going on? This is assy and shit, isn't it? Oh. Woo! Uh. <laughs> I could have just not voiced that line. Oh, it's me! Ooh. Oh shit. I'm getting a phone call. Pepper. Reen sends the Sin Eaters. What's happened? Don't try to fight them. Just bring Guy back inside. Quickly now. Uh. 
Pepper. Don't fight him! Oh. What? Oh, we're back inside. We did a little TP. Oh shit! She did! She is unconscious. Well. Alright. Damn, she got knocked the fuck out. What happened to her? That's a concern for later. <laughs> First you must deal with those sin eaters. Okay, true though. Pepper, if thou wouldst care to repel our assailants without, I would task the anchor with standing guard within. I shall tend to Gaia in meanwhile. God, I can't, like, okay. I guess, like, Sin Eaters are technically still, like, possible to spawn because there's still light in the empty, right? Yeah? God. Oof. I guess maybe it's not assy and shit. Maybe it's just light ward and shit. I don't know. Okay, Sarnix, I'm assuming you're ready. I'm just gonna assume Sarnix is ready. Just some borbs. Just some paper boards. I know, she literally just looks like... She literally just looks like Kristen Ritter. I can't unsee it. Oh, so we're fighting on top of Eden. Hell yeah. Are they gonna take on a form? Antithesis, the idol of darkness. Yo, wait, that's sick. This is sick! So many of them. But nothing we can't handle. Amen, queen! Am I just fighting a bunch of birds? Good lord. That's all I meant to do. It's fine though. Oh shit, I did not mean I did not I did not mean to use living dead. birds oh why are we moving to the side oh what's happening oh oh god oh 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 I see mm, titties two big boobies all right neat I gotta rearrange my hot bar a little bit okay what's going on with these titties what's happening here oh lord okay are they gonna blast something? Oh, yep. Void gates, that's what they call them. Okay, I guess now I just have to time it. I don't know what's gonna what's gonna poop out first. Not bad. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Wait, what am I what am I what am I oh, am I, am I what am I supposed to do? Am I so Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I 
I get it now. Okay. All right. I see. Got it. Alrighty. Ethos becoming unstable? Oh no. Oh no. Purple boobies. Void boobies. Oh, I see! Oh, I see! Oh, fuck me! Well, you know what? Both Sonics and I died, so fuck it. Whatever. We ball. You guys got this! You got this! I believe! I believe in y'all! Come on! Come on, cat girl! Come on, Lollafell! I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh wait, my bad. I didn't mean to turn that off. That's fine though. Whatever. Sarnix will aggro anyways. So how does that work? Okay. Oh, I'm I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Interesting. So it's just like an order of their of how it spawns, right? Okay, so don't launch myself over the, the thing, I guess. Okay, okay, all right. I didn't die, chat! I didn't die! Oh, fuck. I don't. Hmm. I guess like like split them. I thought I was just on one person. I guess AOE. I don't know. Oh, we were stacked too much. Okay. Wait, what's this? Okay. Neat.
All right. for a second I'm so sorry oh no 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 oh no 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 eh 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 oh no okay I'm fine coming. spawn again. Are they gonna spawn again? No. No. I'm prepared this time. was looking at party chat I was not I was not paying attention to the game um oh shit I don't know what I don't know what got hit I don't know was it the red wait okay But I'm alive. But I'm alive. But I'm alive. But I'm alive. I didn't even fucking see the throw. Okay! Done! All done! Amazing! I just fought birds. I just fought paper fucking birds. Well. Alrighty. As you do. As you do. So who, so who is that? I have so many questions. Like, it's darkness, but like, oh, my bad. All right, let's see how they're doing. 
She won't wake up. What do we do? Oh, fudge. Down, 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 down. Oh, shit. What is this place? Darkness. Where is everyone? So, I'm all alone. <laughs> Even the fairy is gone. Endless silence, endless darkness. Is this what death feels like? She ain't dead. It's no use. No one can hear me. How ironic. All those times I wanted peace and quiet, and now that I finally have it, I wish I had someone to talk to. I thought I couldn't stand to be around them, all their interfering and fussing, and yet, I was never lonely. But it's no use. Even after everything we went through, my memories still won't come back. There's no future awaiting me, only emptiness. Those memories, they can stay lost forever, only this pain will leave me. You just like succumb to the darkness now close my eyes and sink into darkness and then i'll suffer no more gaia gaia oh mother father <gasps> me, 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 me. wake up no it's us right i understand now why wait for tomorrow to claim us Gaia, can you hear me? Ooh, this perfect moment never has to end. I'm not giving up on you, Gaia. Say something. Is that Reen? Oh. Oh. What do you want? Please, I'm begging you. Remember all the things we said we'd do? Like going to the second serving for coffee biscuits. Oh no! I never... <gasps> Gaia? Oh. Never agreed to anything of the sort. Oh, she's up! Oh! Oh, thank goodness! I was so worried about you! Oh! Ugh, do you have to be so loud? Oh, baby! The fairy fell silent, only to be replaced by Rain's voice ringing through my head. Aww, I never thought I would be so glad to hear it. Guys, recent ordeals have left her rather more subdued than usual. I forgot we had a fuck another one to get through. <laughs> You've all gone through a lot of trouble on my part. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Anyway, I've delayed you for long enough. Please, carry on with what you came to do. Very gay. And I'm here for it. I'm glad you're back to your usual self. But how are you feeling? Much better now, but something is still bothering me. The fairy spoke to me in a dream, and a stream of memories rushed through my mind. I don't recall anything like this happening before, and I'm not sure what it all means. What sort of memories? I can't make any sense of them. They were only brief flashes, seen through someone else's eyes. At least, that's what it felt like. Yeah, I can't get over the fact that she looks like Kristen Ritter. Like, I can't see anybody else. Like, this is just Kristen, you know? <laughs> Minfilia, that is. The first Oracle of Light. Once served Heidelin as the word as the word of the mother. 
If the Oracle of Darkness is our counterpart under Zodiac, then we had best prepare ourselves for the worst. Ah! That's what I was thinking. That's what I said last stream, last night. Aye, the knight's return did tip the ethereal balance towards activity, which may have served to awaken the fragment of his power in the first. Book. Having thus roused, he did then fix his gaze upon she who had been marked by darkness, Gaia. Am I gonna have to f I almost said am I gonna have to fuck Zodiac. Am I gonna have to fight Zodiac? Marked or no, Gaia's still her own person. No. Oh! oh! The little smile! I think that's what that was! Hmm? Everything alright? It's nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's forget about all that for now. There'll be plenty of time to think it through once the last element's restored. baby if thou believest thyself well enough then i see no reason for delay let us forthwith attend to the revitalization of ice shiva then pepper it's the only one here to have actually seen the primal perhaps you could describe her for us chat i'm gonna get some fucking food before i have to cry because i just know i just know I can't- I'll be right back, chat. I can't. I remember, I remember sitting here, I remember sitting here and saying, you know, if this game makes me remember Heaven's Word one more time, it will be my 13th reason. Well, it's reminded me of Heaven's Word at least 20 times since I said that. Sucks. It hurts. Let me go get my food. Yummy. <laughs> getting away with this i know yoshi p if you're watching this and listening to me i'm gonna send you the bills for my therapy appointments you're paying for my therapy i feel like that's fair put it on the wish list i'll get it for you i don't think i can i don't think throwing ex <sighs>
I'm a Gemini. Can't you tell? I'm just gonna hold on to my emotional support or chiffon real quick. <sighs> Shiva then. Pepper, has the only one here to have actually seen the primal? Perhaps you could describe her for us? A woman named Ysail made herself a vessel for Shiva. She and the great worm Hreisvilger shared an undying bond. Do I mention the lore? Or do I men- No, I- I fucking mention Ysail. Are you kidding me? So she summoned into her body the imagined essence of someone who lived over a thousand years ago? That such a thing should be possible. The long since departed Shiva was a source of great inspiration to Ysail, whose method of summoning differed greatly from any we had previously encountered. By the echo did she bear witness to the deeds of the noble Shiva, and thus was she moved to dedicate her being to, this, to that selfsame cause. It was this devotion that granted her the power of a primal. She really said, I will carry the torch for dragon fuckers all throughout Ishgard. And you know what? Good for her. As she should. Look, I too would have folded if a dragon looked at me like that. At this point, I think it's Ishikawa causing the emotional suffering. Yeah, that's what chat told me. She did a Dark Knight and she did Shadowbringers and Endwalker, question mark. And so, she was able to control it herself. Not getting, any, <clears throat> not getting any funny ideas, are you? Oh no. I'm no, just thinking out loud, that's all. Anyway, we'd better get going. Our journey leadeth to a great glacier situated in the northernmost region of the empty. I'll get us there as quickly as I can. I'm a little concerned now. It's time to draw out the ether. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stock up on water. Y'all keep telling me I'm gonna cry a lot. And I... I don't know. I told y'all that nothing has made me cry like Heaven's Ward. Shadowbringers did make me cry, but not like Heaven's Ward. And so, I still don't think Endwalker can top it. I'm scared, though. I'm very scared. Okay. Sorry, let me just, like, eat a second. <laughs> okay. I know. Look, I still have a bunch of the Shadowbringers patch content to do, but will it make me cry the way I did for Orshifan? Y'all saw those tears. Y'all saw what Heaven's Word did to me. No, not the smiles! Just smile, chat! Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Are you going to come and find me? For your Moogle lamp. Happy Valentine's Day, you bratty goblin. Did you just... 
Did you just donate $300 so I could get the Moogle lamp? Bitch! Thank you so much! I don't even know if it costs that much. I hope you looked it up. Thank you! I will, I will do my best to get it in your honor. I will go and find it right after the stream. Hi, Waldo. All right, chat. Let's continue so I can cry some more for y'all. Um, I was thinking, hmm? That I should go with you this time. I want to be the ve the vessel for Shiva. What? Reen, what the fuck are you suggesting? Being still and passive by nature, ice is the element that is the most strongly aligned to light. Bow, bow, bow. I'll need to get close and use my own abilities as well as Eden's to draw it out. Reen, no! So the Oracle of Light become with the Oracle of Ice. What in the? Why? I cannot claim to be in favor of the stratagem, and yet the primal we encountered in the source was summoned in much the same manner. The inherent advantages are undeniable. I mean, I guess after defeating Shiva, Isail didn't die. That's not how she died. Hmm. Absolutely out of the question. Amen, King. Amen, Daddy. I mean, what? Have you forgotten what Pepper does to the primals we summon? I'm not about to stand by and watch as she and Reen beat the tar out of each other. In any case, the Aether only returns to the empty once the creature's been slain. Though it seems you haven't taken that into consideration yet. Presumably, there's a safe way to disperse it. But it's still far too risky. I thought you had more sense, Reen. <gasps> Daddy's disappointed. But it's not as bad as it sounds! Were the deform, the deform entity as volatile as the primals we have previously summoned, it would be logical to assume that, in her role as conduit, Reen would be hard pressed to retain control. Pepper would have no recourse but to defend herself by any means necessary, else her life be forfeit. God, the drama, Reen. Is Gaia gonna do it? Am I gonna have to fight Gaia, bitch? I know it's dangerous, but I can't let that hold me back. Please, I've got to try. I don't see why this is even necessary in the first place. You never had to take risks like this for the other elements. Eden possesses almost infinite power, but what would happen if it began acting without my intervention? If it started to feed on the ether, just like other Sin Eaters, it would undo all of our hard work. Is a dis... A disconcerting eventuality, and one which cannot be dismissed. I'm worried that even if we realign the elements, things will eventually return to how they were following the flood. Meow, meow, meow. But if I train Eden how to nurture the environment rather than drain the life from it, we can leave it to care of the empty in our place. I'll channel the ether through myself and show Eden how it's done. This isn't some house pet we're dealing with. If it all goes wrong, then what? I know this all sounds like I'm taking a leap of faith, huh? But, it's, but it has been a gamble every step of the way. We've managed to come this far because of faith. In ourselves and in each other. Ooh, my ponytail's getting really snug. I'll take it out. <sighs> I've made my feelings in the matter perfectly clear, but... What say you, Pepper? What say I? With my memories to guide the summoning, what could possibly go wrong? I'll hold back as much as possible. Aw, oh, shit, so we don't have... We don't have a choice, eh? Alright, with all my memories to guide the summoning, what could possibly go wrong? Reen, I suppose that if you've got your heart set on this, there's no point trying to dissuade you. Just don't do anything reckless, is that clear? As Crystal. You want me to turn up the background music? Alright, bet. This is going to work, I promise. I'll make sure of it. 
Well, for all our sakes, I certainly hope so. Because if the primal takes over, he'll be fine. With all of you by my side, I know that whatever happens, it'll work out in the end. All of us? I hope you're not including me. I can't even deal with my own problems, never mind yours. It's enough just knowing you're here. Anyway, I've decided to take a leaf out of your book. I do what I want, when I want. I've made my decision, so now I have to see it through. Oh. Yes, but this is a different kettle of fish altogether. Well, the point is that this is what I want, and I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. Am my head's a dies in this, I'm gonna be a bit cross. Is it that good? So this is how much it means to you. All right, we're traveling. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe there was gonna be more there. I hope I didn't miss anything. Really hope I didn't miss anything there. Is that good? Is that good? Are we good? This is really loud. Oh, I should have checked if we were already. My bad. Okay. All right, chat. Y'all ready to y'all ready to dance? Y'all ready to cat jam? <laughs> I call upon the power of Shiva. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I'm getting deja vu. I'm getting deja vu. Oh shit! Oh my god, she looks amazing! <laughs> Fucking fall off. Okay, my bad. Now, Miss Ma'am, don't make me put you on timeout. Don't make me put you on timeout. What's absolute zero? What's that gonna do? Nothing neat. The light shall usher in peace. Oh. Oh, that's big. That's big. Can I make it? I made it. Okay, Sarnix, take my aggro again. That's fine. Not like I want to learn. Ooh, 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 ah, e, ooh, ooh, oh boy, oh, ah, 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 mommy! <laughs> mommy! Mommy! Yo, she got ice swords? Oh, oh, that, mmm, mmm, that hurt. What is this? Oh, is it gonna push me? Do I have to be- Oh, oh no, it turns into ice. Okay. Mm, sorry, team. My OCD is clicking in. I have something on- Ah! I had something on my lip. I think it was dry skin or like a seed. No! No! Right when I came back! Right when I grabbed my controller again? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, this bitch. That 
that was rude. That was rude, babes. That was really rude. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, god. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I got something in my eye now. Fuck me. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I wish I could pause this. Oh, fuck. The light shall usher in peace. I got an eyelash in my eye. I got an eyelash in my eye. Oh, no way I'm gonna fight this like this. Oh my god, it's irritating me so much. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Do I have time? What is happening? What you doing? What's going on? What the fuck is this? Is she, is she changing? Tranquility must be restored to the land. Okay. I got it. I think I did. Oh. <gasps> what is this? It's giving Heidelin? It just looks like mini Heidelin. Is that- what is this? What is this? What do I do with this? What do I- what do I do with that? Can I- oh, was I even targeting it? I don't know. Is this like- like Shiva combined with Heidelin or whatever because of- because of Reen? Block it. Oh, okay, I un I'm understanding. Oh, God. <gasps> Girl, I would like one fight without a flashbang. Thank you very much. What are we doing this? Am I supposed to tank something? Oh, am I tanking this? Ooh, why do I have a marker on my head? What does that mean? Oh god, oh god, whatever. Get her? Such power. I can't. Green! Green! Oh. 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 The light. It's too much for her to bear. Gaia, suck it up! Suck it up! She won't save her! Power of darkness onto my fold! Ah! 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 
What am I doing? What is huh? huh? I can't do anything! I can't do anything! Baby Rain falling back onto the ice? Little baby? Could it fall into my hand? Please? Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, she's spent. Well, goddamn. Oh! Here? Yeah, I, well, I mean, I was told there's like four more. Yeah, I know that, but like, I'm done for now. So I'm done. Reen! Oh, she's breathing. She's good. You were there. I heard you. What happened to Shiva? Is she still in control? No, she's gone. But Gaia. What? You saved me! The hammer. It matches your dress. Oh! Oh! It do be matching! <laughs> I see you're back to your normal idiotic self. Oh. 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 Oh, these two! Oh, these two! My little baby lesbians! Look, isn't it pretty? Maybe we could take it with us. Is that a piece of Shiva? Like, mm, ice tends to melt, you know? Or is it just a shard of ice? Not this sort. Well, if you say so. Anyway, it might even make a nice necklace. Oh! Is it an ether crystal? Looks like an ether shard. I don't know. That's a brilliant idea. Oh, look at them. Wilt thou not rush to her aid? Perhaps I'm getting slow in my old age, but it would seem Guy has beaten me to it. To think that she would be the one to break the ice. Ha! <clears throat> Good pun. They may have gone off to a rocky start, but I think they'll make quite the pair. Is that a hint of melancholy I detect in thy voice? Something akin to a pining mother bird whose chick has whose chicks has flown the nest. Or have flown the nest. <laughs> daddy! It's okay! You can be our slutty daddy, it's fine. <laughs> oh father bird, if you don't mind. <laughs> but I you're not entirely wrong. Oh, Still, when the day finally comes to say goodbye, it heartens me to know she won't be alone. Oh, Oh, thank Grid. After that, we can go to the second serving for coffee biscuits. Fine, you win. And if they're anything less than perfection itself, I'll never let you live it down. Oh. Oh. If they're not to your liking, there are plenty of other things to try. I suppose we both deserve a little treat after all that hard work. <laughs> we certainly do. <laughs> Knee slapper. <laughs> there we were, laughing as if we had not a care in the world. Bleeding though it was, in that moment, I was content. 
What is being narrated? And my life, but my life was never meant to be so simple. Oh no, what does that mean? What's gonna happen now? Is that like our inner monologue? Is it like a memoir? Like, what am I? All right, GG's team, thank you for helping me get through the Eden raids. I'm so sorry, everyone. I clearly have a long way to go before I can handle that kind of power. Oh, you're fine, girl. We achieved what we set out to do, as I had faith we would. So without further ado, let's return to camp and admire our work. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Look, we did it. Did it, Bubba. <gasps> Toes! It's life. <gasps> Grass! We did that. Oh, the clouds are actually moving this time. We got a fire going. We got grass. We got water. We got clouds. We got snow. We're chilling. We got humidity. Life finds a way. Rena is ecstatic to see the first signs of greenery in the empty. Bum, bum, bum. I can feel all the revitalized elements working in harmony. I've always believed Eden had the power to restore the empty, but I never expected it to happen so quickly. You're the one who made all this possible. I think we owe it all to Gaia's skills with the hammer. I never get the hang of. I never did get the hang of summoning primals correctly. And judging by Thanker and Yurian Jay's reactions, it seems most of them were barely recognizable. Far be it for me to worry, but are you sure your memory is all right? Girl, though thou hast grasped the basic principles of summoning, it beareth repeating that such deiform entities are not the product of the memory alone. Nay, myriad other factors contribute to their corporeal manifestation, in a process not unlike the techniques employed in creation magic. I wonder if the effects from the rebalanced ether will spread to the rest of the empty. Perhaps we'll just have to wait and see. Besides, I'm sure we all could do with a rest. We could all do with rest. I don't know what that said. Wait, what? Hello? I must say, Reen, it's refreshing to see you take a more measured approach for a change. Well, if my experience here has taught me anything, it's that I shouldn't rush into things unprepared. And I've also learned that there are some problems that can't be solved alone. Is that so? Since you freed me from Yulmor, I've met all sorts of kinds of people. Of all sorts of kind people who've gone another way to help me. I thought that I should do everything in my power to repay their kindness and make the world a better place. But now more than ever, I realize that there's a limit to what I can achieve by myself. Even though I was able to summon Shiva, I couldn't control such vast amounts of ether. If Gaia hadn't been there for me, I might never have returned to normal. I could say the same about you. I was trapped in a nightmare, but you freed me. It seems more alike than I thought. We might not be able to do everything by ourselves, but if we look out for each other, then we can face our problems together. I love them. That's if you don't mind. No, it's fine, really. If things don't work out, we can always go our separate ways. So... Oh, she's do a smile. But on the other hand, if I can resist the urge to punch you whenever you annoy me, which I must say is quite often, I have no objections objections to saying around. Oh, you mean it? Oh, thank you, Gaia. Oh, oh, they're so cute. It's two little babies. May I 
suggest we continue the conversation in Amarang? Though the empty may now support supporteth foliage, the land's normalization hath but begun, and to linger over long still entaileth risks. Good for them walking off together too. Is Thancred crying? Is aught the matter, Thancred? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's go. Is he crying? Is Thancred getting emotional? Is our baby daddy getting a little emotional? You think that Reen is the same girl I rescued from Yulmore? Compared to the way she was back then, the difference is like night and day. Haha, <laughs> get it? Night and day? Anyway, I'm gonna talk to you again. Before we do anything else, we should report to Yalfort. He'll want to know how we've been getting on in the empty. Speaking of more soup, there was a snack of some sort that caught my eye last time. I can't quite describe it, but it looked... squidgy. Despite a strong suspicion that I may live to regret it, I'd like to try one. Oh, I think I know the one you mean! They might not be much to look at, but I bet they taste amazing. Perhaps we could also try a pot of those jellied wrigglers or whatever they're called? They even let you take the first bite. Ew! No thank you. First coffee biscuits, now worms and jelly? Heavens forbid the two of you might actually eat some proper food. <laughs> Pepper, may I ask a favor of thee? What's up? Will Sankar and I return unto the Crystarium to inform our comrades of our recent exploits? I would have thee accompany Reen and Gaia to Mord Soup. Alright! I'm on babysitter patrol then. <laughs> Narrator, they, d they do not taste amazing. Well, how do you know? Yeah, Thanker's not crying. He just got a little bit of sand in his eye. The wind is winding, you know? So, I've just dropped by the stream, and I was like, Gaia looks like a uh, Nomura design, and whoa, and behold, I was very much right. Who's that? Who's that? Okay. Is the Kingdom Hearts guy? Uh. See... I'm not a Kingdom Hearts kind of gal, so. Is it Final Fantasy character design until Final Fantasy XI? Oh, interesting. Interminesting, I see. Babies see the baby gays while they're adorably gay each other? Twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> I trust all is well, Miss Gaia. Why are you looking at me and asking that? Oh, there we go. It'll be, it will be once we get out of this desert town. If I have to spend another night in that dingy little room, I shall scream. Me. Goodbye, Firebird! Thank you for hanging out! I'll see you next time! I'm terribly sorry to hear that the accommodation was less than satisfactory. I'll investigate the- Fuck. Everything is, like, irritating me right now. Look at this. Do you see this? I'm terribly sorry to hear that the accommodation was less than satisfactory. I'll investigate the availability, availability of more comfortable lodgings post-haste. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I think we're good. I'm gonna take the ears off for now because I don't think we're gonna be doing MSQ tonight. Yes, I think we'll be staying in Mordsuk, at least for the time being. It might take a while for me to write the report, as our expedition was rather eventful. Pepper, I really appreciate everything you've done, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I've put you through. You're still fretting about that, are you? What's done is done. Besides, it's all... It, besides, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? So true, bestie. You're right. Now, how about that treat you promised yourselves? They might not have coffee biscuits here, but I've heard the regular cakes are to die for. Or was that you'll die from eating them? Only one way to find out, I guess. Isn't that what I tried and Pepper had diarrhea? I'm sure trying the local delicacies will keep us occupied between writing reports and thinking about the next plan of action. Hopefully we'll have another chance to visit the empty to see how things are coming along. And don't even think about leaving me behind. No worries, Gaia. Wouldn't even dream of it.
To unlock the next quest, you must complete the main scenario quest, Echoes of a Fallen Star. Sick. All right, chat. We did it. We did it. We finished the as much of the Eden quest line as I could. Oh, hey, Sai. Hey, doll. What's up? Oh, it is 2.30, chat. And the side effects of the antibiotics are kicking in. My tummy is not feeling good. I'm feeling a little, like, reckless and restless. Not feeling that hot. What did you think? I think it was really good. I think all of those fights were a lot of fun. Um, I think I caught on like pretty pretty quickly. They were kind of easy. Like I really want to try them again. Um, I don't know. I can't really like form my thoughts right now because I'm I'm the side effects are really fucking me up right now. I'm not feeling good. Dude, Daddy Ramu? Oh my god, it's so hot. But yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling kinda like shit right now. And I'm glad it at least hit me at the very end of this quest line and not like at the beginning of it. But yeah, I'm definitely not feeling good right now. Um, but that was a that was a really good quest line. I'm excited to see how it ends. It's really cute seeing Rain have a buddy and seeing the character the growth that like Gaia, you know, forces onto her. You know? I like it. I thought it was really nice. And I thought it was interesting to, to, like, to know that we, collectively, were able to restore this area that was, like, a barren wasteland because of the light. And we were able to restore it with primals and, like, like element by element, you know? That was super cool. Oh, yes, I'll log on to my alt. Yeah, I'll do that after I sit down for a bit. Oh, but, yeah. I had, what you'll probably, you probably have to promote your elbow before getting on purpose though. Yeah, I will, I will. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I'm gonna go hop off now. I don't even think I could properly say goodbye chat. I'm in so much pain. But I will see you all, I will see you all tomorrow evening we're gonna do more msq tomorrow strictly msq um don't forget to join the discord server and follow me on social media to stay up to date with all my shit and get notified for when i go live i will see you all tomorrow bye <laughs> i'm so sorry bye